Welcome to the Pilgrim's Project. Hey people, it's the Pilgrim, and welcome to my futuristic modular base. I think that's what I'll call it. Or, uh, don't know, the hexagonal modular base, homestead base, everything in one base base. I don't know, I don't know what to call it to be honest. But yeah, it's futuristic. Eh? There we go. Um, that over there is the tech hangar, uh, mech hangar I've been building for the last like week or so. But it's taken a lot longer to figure out than I expected, so I'll just sort of put this thing together for now, just to get a video out, really. And this was sort of a prototype for all the ideas I had for that big place, and I just thought I'd build it in one spot, make it its own little design. This is like um, a landing pad up top and some steel like fences and frameworks to protect the front. This is like the um, the whole workshop production area, and I managed to sort of fit everything into it that I needed. So you've got like a tech replicator, there's plenty of vaults around. Then the forge, I, it's not exactly dead center where you see it there, it's just over to the left a bit away from that pillar on the right. And it gives you just enough room to get through. So I put um, a smithy and some more vaults at the back, just wherever I could fit them in really. So everything's nice and close to when you're producing, you know, bullet production or anything like that. Steel, armor, all those sort of things. But yeah, this, this worked out really well, like, like in the Chinese base, everything just seemed to slot into place. And Ken Ben sharing everything you need. So that's like the, the workshop module. And there's all the just essential farming animals, really. Then this was for food and, you know, like health bottles and all that sort of stuff. Um, you need like focal chili and some other uh, Lazarus chowder for making kibble now so I'll just put all the food production in one place then over here um i forgot you can like just get dinosaurs and creatures to mate now and they stand still but i was thinking like you still have to you know put them in a pen to mate or you know like when you used to whistle and keep them to stand in one place but i thought it should be like pretty good for a nursery as well so you can bring like your mammals in here when they're giving birth and keep them in one place and raise your babies in there you can get anything in there that can get through to like, you know, a, a dino door. So that Uteranus and things fit in there um, when they're mating and laying eggs. And then, yeah, the rest of the doors just are like little compartments for like wolves or anything like that, or the Gigantopithecus. And then in here, this was kibble production. 
So you've got like the thing for the meat jerker, plenty of fridges and the cookers. And these are the tombstones are painted in white with blue screen to make it look like as if they were like little computer consoles and just put them around the base to tell you what's going on or you know what different things are for. On there I just wrote down some kibble things like sap and stuff like that. This is the hatchery, I really like this roof, worked out really well. So here you've got everything like fridges, um, place to put the eggs down. In there what I did, I put a row of air conditioners at the bottom, put a set of tables behind them and then put another row of air conditioners on the tables and I think these five on the bottom row or six well, anyway I put quetzal eggs down and stuff like that and it'll fertilize fertilize it'll incubate it basically anything so yeah that's supposed to be like a little computer console but um I just used the pedestal there but you can't paint like little keys on it or something and like I said I just use these little computer consoles everywhere just... there you can sort of throw the eggs off I'll put eggs up on the top there and they all incubate fine that's just a random table and water tap at the back there. I ran the water pipes from a river down off the side of the cliff and that's where they came into the base. Uh, I just put that pipe in and tapped just to see where they'd come in and then sort of laid it all down. So some of it runs under the floor and some over. Um, this is the second level. This is like your command center. Uh, I've got some sleeping pods up here and uh, like a bit of a computer console over the other side and you just got a decent overall view of the base from here. This one says, storage, 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 two storage, stored, please store more storage. <laughs> it's just daft stuff, meme stuff, really. Sort of ran out of things to type on it. Um, what's that one? Sleeping pod malfunction, possible cerebral tissue damage. Please turn on and off again. Yeah, you know, daft stuff. Um, this one here. Oh, yeah, frozen droba storage. Microwave for eight minutes for tasty snack. You know, I've met people on that that get genuinely upset when you eat drobas. Yeah. Right, this bit's just like a bit of a computer console again. Um, these new tech storage boxes, you can paint them. Um, the sort of tech mesh inside turns different colours, depending on what you're using. It looks pretty cool. That one's just saying... Um, the Pilgrim's Project 4K subspecial. That's what I should call this probably. But you got a pretty good overall view of the, the whole base from here. And then one of the main features on this base was the corridors going between everything. I wanted them to have like a sci-fi look, like you're getting like aliens films and stuff like that. You got like a, a, the hexagonal shaped, um, yeah, corridors basically. And you got like all the wiring and consoles and panels going through them and everything. And there's not that much to choose from really with, with Ark. Sort of got to improvise with everything. I put some windows in there so you can see down into the courtyard. And just put some more computer consoles around. I ran all the electricity like in three wires. Um, and then connected it up through the whole base. And the main generator is just above where the production part is. You know the workshop on the other side. Just a little landing pad here for the snow owl. This room behind us here, I've not put anything in there yet. I'd probably get people saying, how did you build this bit of decor or that? So I thought I'd leave a couple of rooms empty and then I can sort of revisit it and show how I made some of the chairs and different bits and pieces. If anyone's interested in that later on. This this room's like a officer's quarters for the sleeping pods. Can't, well, that one I wrote, um, Please pretend to eat your invisible food from the pestle and mortar provided. See, Atlas straight away got cutlery, and we didn't. You know, kind of get spoilt with all the eco mods and stuff on PC. But he's like, they should do more stuff like that decor. Maybe they should do like a decor TLC, that'd be cool. On this one, I just put um, about meshing. If anybody has any dreams or thoughts on meshing while they're inside the pod, that all oxygen will be sucked out of the pod. And you'll be banned from life. Because that was like a big nail in the coffin for our PvP, I think, when meshing got... I mean, it's always been there, but, you know, the last year or so, it's just been ridiculous. Like, official servers are just almost pointless at this point. Yeah, so I'll put some, like, air conditioning in, into these as well. So you got, like, a bit of steam coming out of the walls and stuff. But yeah, I really like the way these worked out. It's, that's got a definite, definite like spaceship sort of sci-fi look to it and now here we're above the workshop 
it's just a walkway going round um, so you can access like the rest of the base and you can get to the forge from here so like if you're making gasoline in the forge you can put it straight into the generator and that's the only generator in the whole base so electricity is run right the way around like you can see you know on top of the triangle glass ceilings and just connects it right, right the way through I didn't try and try and hide it at all and this is just like an observation deck like 360 degree view of the surroundings and that place over there and that mech hangers what was it I think it's like 30 wide by nearly 60 long in foundations and it's just it's just massive I upped the um, build limit so I could try and get it finished off but I got to the point where every time I put a ceiling or a roof down in, uh, you know any any part of it the whole computer just sort of froze up for about three or four seconds and then the game sort of stuttered for a few seconds after I moved away from it and it just got to the point where I literally couldn't place anything more so I just sort of leveled the whole top half of the base and that's what I'm left with at the moment just trying to redesign it this bit here on this base um, like I said, I made it all out of steel and metal and everything, and it was just sort of like a like a defensive position underneath the hangar, like a castle thing, like crenellated walls. This is just a, a big landing pad for your quets. You bring bring supplies in there and then go straight down into the workshop from here. I think this base would be pretty good for like a really small tribe. Or I, mean, I always played solo, but for solo player, everything's there really nice and close, easy to build. But if you've already got a big base and you want to add something, you, you can sort of just pick one of these modules and just stick it in somewhere, you know, if you like the look of it. That last room we are in, I did the hatch in the roof so you can get your flyers in there um, to breed them. Got somewhere easy to collect your eggs from. Just showing you electricity here, how I run it through. When you put the, the electric cables on top of them triangle ceilings, you can actually remove the triangle ceilings and they just float, but I left them in because it looked good. Oh yeah, right here we're above the kibble production module. And I just put some small seed beds in here for you know, the crop plots for stuff like stem berries and things like that. Then you've got your honeybees and your echidna, echidna, whatever they're called, you know, for the organic paste. Ah, uh, what the right here. Uh, giant bee population three. Use extreme caution when entering holding cell danger. Utilize large rolled up newspapers provided. To be honest, I won't go in there with a shotgun. No, don't do bees. I'd rather fight a raptor. Bees are actually not too bad. You know, it's wasps and hornets, nah. Especially amazing hornets, like the size of your hand. No, I'm not messing with that sort of stuff. And I managed to get a pretty decent sized farm up here, and it's right above where all the kibble production is. And I also got 300% greenhouse efficiency on the crop plots. Which I was pretty happy with. Because I was thinking like you've got to have the glass all the way around and you've got to have it covering. But having the, the the stairs coming up through the middle of it and having the triangle roof, I thought it might not get it, but every cut plot's fine. The roof, you've, these slight gaps where the triangles meet, you can actually put triangle ceilings around and then run the slope ones off that and you can close the gap. But I didn't think it made much difference really, just, just it looks like it's letting a bit of air in. And so the last lot of corridors going back through to the command center. Got my is down there. Like I was saying before about the, the decor side of it. Um, eco mods has got like a tech decor. There's some really cool stuff in that, especially like these little um, cryopods where she's got all the, uh, the dinosaurs sort of in this fluid with all pipes going into them you can use them as fridges like having stuff like that on the main game it'd be so much better just having more stuff because i'm like the pve building side of this is just really really popular and i think that the arc itself is you know a really missing a trick there they could really sort of push the building side of it you know create some slightly smaller maps uh, they're not as intensive on the servers give everybody a chance to sort of build some really big cool bases yeah so there we have it the what is 
sci-fi hexagonal modular homestead base 4000 subspecial yeah it's not a great title that really um i'll shorten it for the description i think thanks for all the likes and subs and comments and all i'll keep it coming really enjoying like just watching a whole channel grow and I, I will well i'm always looking for sort of new games to cover but i haven't found anything with decent building but i have had a few requests to do conan lately so if anyone would like me to you know see me build some stuff on that i'll, I'll definitely give it a go i hit a few snags on the building and, and the recording this last week and it's really sent me back quite a bit actually but i think i'm back on track with this build now i've actually got quite a bit of the build recorded and I've got tons of screenshots as well, so I'll get started on the how to build video for it. Shouldn't be too long at all. Yeah, other than that, if you go on my YouTube channel, I've got links to my Steam screenshots so you can see like all builds I've done and anything new I'm working on. Um, also, the community tab on YouTube, I use that a lot. I look at it every day and I'm always keeping everything up to date on there, you know, for new builds and, you know, whatever. Just having a chat with people and stuff. Um, I use Twitter quite a bit, just sort of posting my videos on there. And Facebook, I'm on there a lot um I, i'm part of like three or four different uh, arc building pages so i'm always putting stuff up on there like little explanations and the best screenshots of my builds and stuff yeah so i'm really trying to be like a proper youtuber now being very professional oh yeah my discord as well um i've gone there not as much as i'd like but i try to get on there's a bunch of cool people on there to talk to anyway right thanks for watching guys and i will catch you later